Namaste. In this video, we will learn how to make a complex table in SolidWorks. So, first of all, we need to draw a square of 600 mm. Click OK and select this line. Click for construction. After that, select all the line by pressing Ctrl and click on Make Equal. After that, click on spline, draw the spline here and press escape. Click on smart dimensions, click here and select this point, enter the value of 650 and click here, click here, enter the value of 5, oh, sorry, 500, make this line inclined press escape make this line inclined at angle of 55 degree and make this to horizontal click on this line click horizontal click ok a reason uh, a question arises in my mind why I am doing all this uh, because if you see the if you see the template of this tutorial or thumbnail of this tutorial you see it is curved and complex so it is basically uh, basically uh, doing I am basically doing to make the curved part okay after that click on surfaces click extrude select this face enter the value of 100 mm and select offset 600 mm if anybody don't understand what is the surface extrude you can check out the my video on extrude you will understand uh, what is going on here as uh, it, uh, it it might be a little difficult what's going on here now just click on right plane now draw a line starting from here okay after that as escape exit the sketch now go to features click on geometry click on plane sorry 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 first we need to extrude it click on surfaces extrude uh, opposite direction opposite direction 100 mm after that click on geometry plane select this point this point select the top plane click ok after that one uh, what we need to do is mirror so go to features click on mirror uh, make sure you select bodies to pattern else if you choose any other things like features to mirror faces to mirror uh, the command will not gonna accept click ok after that go to surfaces uh, go to boundary surface select this face and this face click uh, tangency to face after that in on in direction to click on here select this face and this face uh, go downward select tangency to face enter the value of 100 mm sorry enter the value of 100 okay and click ok after that select all these faces that I am selecting, right click on it, click on hide. Now uh, we are going to do mirror, click on mirror, select uh, the right plane, select this, ok, and again we are going to do mirror, but this time we are going to select front plane and go to bodies to mirror, select these two faces, click ok, after that go to surfaces click on uh, planar surface select this face this edges select these two edges ok click ok after that go to insert go to features select uh, move copy select this face uh, number of copies is 3 and we want to rotate it about origin click on origin and enter the value of 90 degree so here you see what basically done is 
it may it create the faces three faces okay at an angle of 90 degree click okay after that again click on planar surface now select all the faces sorry all the edges at the bottom click ok after that select the whole uh, select the whole sketch and click on its surface make sure you select all the faces uh, carefully else you will might face problem as you can see I select all the faces now click on create solid merge entities now the reason I uh, select create solid and merge entities is that uh, create solid what will do when I want it converted to solid face I can easily convert it else there are surfaces merge entities if I don't merge entities uh, it is difficult to create a solid body and there might be a problem when you use uh, features command ok so because of that I am selecting these two features click ok now after that go to features click on shell and enter the value of 70 mm here select these faces that I am selecting ok show preview here you can see the thickness that is given click ok here our nearly 50% work is done now select the top plane click ok and press control plus 8 now what we need to do is uh, draw rectangles of width 10 mm you can change as per your requirement it is not necessary that you copy same thing that I am doing you can change it as per your requirement uh, just make sure you are selecting f uh, full commands as I am doing and select this line and let's say 20 mm ok now select the whole sketch now select this point and move it to this corner ok now click on extrude base boss click on direction 2 enter the value of 610 click ok namaste guys in this video we will learn how to make this now, awesome animation right click on here oh sorry 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 when we make sure while extruding this make sure you uncheck the merge result else it will go to create a problem for you i didn't remember last time so click ok now right click on this and click on hide as you can see the face uh, the, the body i have created before is now hide now select this whole uh, wait a minute go to insert click on features select move copy uh, select this whole extrude make sure all the store is selected as uh, you might gonna face a problem and remember one thing you can't select from the tree feature tree because it doesn't accept command in my scenario i don't know maybe you have higher version and in that version select now click to and click rotate click on origin enter the value of 90 degree click ok now select all this body or go to insert go to features click on combine click add press control a that is that will be much better ok and wait a minute it will load all the commands click ok wait uh, insert features go to combine 
add press control plus a okay now click ok now go to fill it select any edge any edge okay any edge it is up to you click here enter the value of 7.5 mm oh, wait a minute uh, fill it select this edge and make sure you select the third one as it will going to create a problem remember i am going to use the fillet uh, in the next command so you realize why i am doing fillet it is a very necessary Now click on shell, make it show, after that go to insert, go to features and click on combine, click on common, now click this and click on shell command, ok. click here and click here click comma ok and wait a minute now we have done nearly 95% of work just a single piece of work is left that is to create the glass so let's make the glass click on top face click sketch press ctrl plus 8 now click on center rectangle select the center and here we go over rectangle sorry I'm drawing a square here and select this and click on fillet remember sharp edge is uh, not preferred by anyone click here and extrude it to 20mm make sure it is not merge result and now we have to do just one last thing sorry two things is left fill it here and here click ok and go to appearances click on glass it's a glass basically click on whole part now hide the plane so here we have made it i hope you like this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you comment and ask